after President Tinobu called boards for Barra and Wiki to a resolution meeting, you know, asking the issues that has been going on between the two of them and also in River State in general. A lot of people said a lot of things. Majorly, River State elders, you know, said that the agreement was no way in favor of Obara and that, you know, Obara shouldn't go ahead in working towards what has been agreed upon. But <laughs> let me bust your bubble, guys. The person that has the matter, gun, gun, gun. <laughs> <laughs> he has said that please you people should hold it you people should keep quiet keep short enough is enough i know what i was doing when i signed the peace accord and it is not a dead sentence it is not a dead sentence i'm going to go ahead to fulfill what i already signed and by the way let me tell you guys guess what the 27 lawmakers that defected from the pdp to the apc fubara has paid their salary both november salary and december salary so you guys what are we all crying about what are the rivers elders what are they crying about in short is that mission that is what he's telling us so he said enough is enough i beg let me do let me do what i want to do you people should not don't 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 interfere anymore don't interfere it's okay it's all right <laughs> hello and welcome back to newsroom nigeria if this is your first time here you're welcome thank you very much for tuning in like this video leave your opinions in the comment section below i respond to all of my comments lastly don't forget to turn on the post notification bell so that you shall you can be the first person to get notified whenever we upload a new video christmas broadcast I accept the presidential peace accord. It's not a death sentence. This is coming from Fubara. Governor Semina Laye Fubara has dismissed the criticisms and insinuations that the Abuja peace accord presided over by President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, he endorsed, was forced on him, and he committed to abiding by the terms. In the governor's statewide Christmas broadcast, he reiterated his avowed commitment to peace, stating that there is no there is no too much price to pay for peace to reign in a state. As a principal participant in the entire saga, I have taken some time to study the terms therein and have come to the conclusion that the peace pact is not as bad as it has been portrayed by those genuinely opposed to it. It is certainly not a death sentence. It offers some way towards a lasting peace and stability in our dear state. Accordingly, I reaffirm my acceptance of a presidential peace program proclamation, pardon me, or you all, and my commitment to implementing both the spirit and letters of the declaration in such a way and manner that will restore political stability to our dear state without compromising the collective interest of our people and our cherished and shared democratic values according to fubara let me also use this opportunity to express gratitude to our dear president and commander-in-chief of the armed forces his Excellency President Ashiwaju Bola Tinubu, GCFR, for wading into the near crisis situation that almost portrayed the prevailing peace in our dear state. Indeed, by this singular effort, our dear President has demonstrated that he loves River State and cherishes nothing short of a reign of a perfect peace in our state with its presidential peace proclamation on the 18th of december 2023 mr president's peace proclamation has naturally elicited mixed reactions from our people and across the country he reiterated further that already both parties have demonstrated some good faith in the implementation process with the withdrawal of a purported impeachment notice on their part. 
and the release of Iteto withheld an allowances of uh, members of the State House of Assembly by the government. I have said before, there is no price too much to pay for peace and with the realization that the worst peace is better than the best war, we will strive to make peace with all segments and interest groups without surrendering our freedom, nor jeopardizing the interests and well-being of the good people of River State, who graciously entrusted us with their cherished mandate. Governor assures that in the face of every challenge, always consults widely and confident, confidently to such parts that will best advance and protect the collective interest of our states and people, which is what we have resolved to do in the present circumstances. Fubara said, it is a singular honor and privilege to address the people of the river states on the auspicious occasion of a 2023 Christmas celebration, the first since on assumption of office as chief steward of the state. Recalling the symbolic birth of Jesus Christ, it said the circumstances surrounding the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ are very sobering with far-reaching lessons for navigating through life's travails. The governor said, first, he was born of exceptional, lowly parentage, Joseph the carpenter and the mother, the Immaculate Virgin Mary, not of royalty. He enjoined the people to take note of the realities, indicate the two very unique qualities the Almighty God expects the entire mankind to emulate, simplicity and humility. He said, therefore, that on this occasion, let us all remind ourselves of the major teachings of our Lord Jesus Christ, selflessness, love for one another, and the, and the inexhaustible will to forgive one another. The governor re-emphasized to stick to the, to the continue on the promised mantra of his administration's continuity and consolidation. I wish to reiterate that nothing shall constrain us from our past in our commitment to provide a steady flow of the dividings of democracy in all positive ramifications to our people. He thanked all the good people of River State and all men and women of goodwill, even those beyond our shores, for the massive love and support we have received and continues to enjoy before and during the recent travails that challenged the peace of our state and stability of our government. According to Governor Fubara, I am proud to say that we have successfully confronted the challenges of governance and have made measurable progress in the last seven months of our administration with various laudable projects and programs some completed, some ongoing, and others at advanced stages of completion. You all, what are your thoughts? Let's have them in the comments section below. Like this video, subscribe. I will see you all in my next video.